middle of the week car stuff. We got um, beat rush engine mounts, trans mounts, and a pitch stop for the Subaru uh, because the CAE is all wobbly when you're uh, when you're hard accelerating or hard decelerating, and uh, because the cage of the CAE, CAE bolts to the the chassis of the of the vehicle. Um, if the drive line moves independently of the, the body, and it will, then it sort of like misaligns the shifter, and you miss downshifts, and sometimes you miss upshifts, depending on how aggressive you're driving. But uh, with the stock shifter, literally everything floats and moves with the drive line, like nothing bolts to the body of the car with the OEM shifter. So no matter how hard you drive it, as far as acceleration or deceleration, the um, it's it's always lined up. I mean, because it moves with the with the uh, transmission. So yeah, hopefully this install goes not too painfully, but I feel like it will. But fingers crossed. See a deft motion. It was a joke, yeah. Here like, oh, yeah, deft man. motion. We got old Drew one more again. Old. Nah, he, he younger than me, but it's cool. And then, you guys haven't seen him before, but this is Herndon, Shot Tech. Long time friend of Drew. Oh, yeah. Not as long as <laughs> me, but. <laughs> and the mounts. Beat Rush. I don't know how that, is that how you say Beat Rush? Yeah, beat it's rush. just two words, Beat and Rush. I've put put together. I've seen like worse things for Beat True. Rush. We're gonna put those mounts in, but let's get the car up on the lift first, cause. That's gonna take 45 minutes. One hour later. Here we're up in the air, this thing. Voltex side skirts, man. Now we got many things. Yeah, and I got Drop your sway bar. specs for everything. Yeah. So I Try undo those. Well, drop the subframe brace. Undo those on uh -huh. both sides, and then you just undo the mounts for here, and then it'll swing down, right? I mean, we could just undo the mounts, and it would swing down out of our way. That's true too. Yeah, do that. That's definitely easier than fucking with the end link. Mm -hmm. But the the Wait, thing yeah, is, like, they're preloaded though. Like, it, you have to load this up to tighten everything down. At least to tighten this down, the suspension has to be loaded. So yeah. I think we'll be should be fine. We'll back these out a little. Like we'll get this brace down, and then we can back these out and see how it's reacting. Okay. I mean, if we need to preload the suspension, if we have to like pull them out and preload the suspension, we can always I, pull the ramps out. Without any the load on the out. tires, it's hard to take them out. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we loosen these up, that'll pull some of the tension well, off gonna, of them. That might also bend the bracket. Though. Yeah. If it's got a, as much tension as he's talking about. Just take the subframe off and then go from there. Okay. Subframe off. So we got the subframe brace off. Uh, we got the the jack support plate off. Um, we're gonna torque down the beat rush uh, motor mounts, the nuts on them, before throwing them on the car. But we're moving right along. Oddly enough, not oddly enough, it's depth motion. So we got the transmission cross brace off. Well, Herndon then did. And we're about ready to throw the beat brush mount onto the uh, cross brace here. Might have to undo the bolts, uh, not sure yet. But we're moving along. It feels weird not working on your own car. <laughs> like super weird. But it's in good hands, it's all good. We've got 
the Beat Brush Trans Mount Boy in place. Fitting went smoothly on that. We're waiting on a uh, 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench. One of the swivel head ones to get to the rear bolt on the motor mounts on the engine side of them. And that'll be a fantastic help for both sides because it's close quarters back there. Be here forever if we didn't. After a rigorous game of Tetris, <laughs> won by Jim Drew, we got the motor mount out without dropping the header. Now passenger side is player two. The old poopy mount. There might have been a recall on this too at some point back in 06, but not my problem anymore. Like the ones that actually mounted to the plate? Yeah, the two at the top. Two studs, yeah. Passenger side engine mounts off. Driver side's off. But beat rush. Beat rush. <laughs> beat rush? It's Roush actually now. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> beat rush didn't send us the correct. Um, Red pitch nuts. Thread pitch nuts for the top that go onto the plates. Horse boys. Yeah, so I forgot what Subaru is. Beat Rush is a. Uh, one of them was 1.25, one of them was 1.5. I don't remember which one was which, but if you get the Beat Rush engine mounts, then you'll need. Buy nuts. But you need to buy nuts. Buy. They didn't supply any nuts, so get you some nuts. Both engine mounts in place. Now we're just putting stuff back together, final torquing on everything. And then we'll be good. Ooh, subframe braces in. All the bork all but nope. All the bolts are torqued. Ready to Put it back on the ground and do the rest of the things. And then I'll be good to go. So we made it home. Uh, it's super late, super tired, but car feels amazing. Uh, the motor mounts from Beat Rush, the pitch stop mount from Beat Rush, and the transmission mount from Beat Rush make everything feel so much better. The um, CAE shifter feels miles better than it was with the stock mounts. So yeah, this is unnecessary um, mod if you have the CAE shifter for sure. So I'm gonna head to bed. Gotta get up early tomorrow morning, but yeah, we're good. See you guys on the next one. So this is not a how-to video on how to do this, but I'll give you a brief rundown on the um, process anyway. So first, disconnect the battery, remove some of the intercooler piping, and then we get the car up in the air. Um, if you have an aftermarket sway bar, you're gonna have to remove it or get like a swivel head socket um, to remove the engine mount bolts. And uh, once you do that, uh, you can put a piece of wood underneath the oil pan and then jack the engine up so you can get to the um, engine mount bolts so it's gonna be a rough one getting the engine mount bolts that from the plate that connects to the actual um, block getting those on that's gonna be tricky once you do that you can tetris the uh, the engine mounts out um, some people had to drop the header we were able to do it without dropping the header once you do that then you can uh, start to work on the transmission mounts you got to remove the um, the uh, <clears throat> the saddle, and uh, once you remove that, some nuts and some bolts, and then you can remove the actual mount. And once all that's done, you can come back to the top and do the uh, the pitch stop, and then just wrap everything back up. And if you had to drop the sway bar or subframe, if you have an aftermarket one, then uh, you need to drop the car down, load the suspension up and then go through and torque all the nuts and bolts. Um, and then once that's done, you drive the car a little bit and then go back and retorque those nuts and bolts for the suspension just to make sure everything's good. And because this car has a CAE, um, when I was done with all of that, it was completely misaligned, so I had to go back and adjust the endpoints on the shifter. But 
once everything was done and retorqued and all the endpoints adjusted, it was magic. So um, I didn't have time to make an actual driving video, but I will make a driving impressions video. But uh, teaser, this thing is fantastically loud for drivetrain noises because of the shore rating on all of the um, bushings for all of the mounts. So if you do this, then you can look forward to uh, increased drivetrain noise and just cabin noise in general way louder but um, the benefits outweigh the cons so we did it it's gonna be fantastic on track and we went ahead and got the side skirt fixed yeah boys we're back